We begin by letting our awareness descend into the space of the body, becoming immediately aware of the sensations associated with the breath throughout the entire body. Gently observing these sensations, we'll let go of any tension with each out-breath. Then we generate our motivation for the day. And that includes three main components. First, not harming anyone, including ourselves, throughout the day, entire day. Second, benefiting beings through love and compassion. And third, ultimately aspiring for full awakening for the benefit of all sentient beings. We also generate the determination to be mindful of this motivation throughout the day and then to assess our effort at the end of the day, rejoicing in everything that we were able to accomplish. With this motivation, we generate loving-kindness. First, focusing our awareness on our own wish to be happy and our vision of genuine well-being of body and mind. We become aware of this wish and this vision and then generate the aspiration for happiness using our loving-kindness phrases such as May I be well and happy in body and mind. We gently maintain the aspiration and reinforce it with a phrase whenever we get distracted. not getting too tense or too lax. Just maintaining loving kindness for ourselves. While generating the loving-kindness for ourselves, we also become aware of the love and compassion we experience from others, including enlightened beings 
and our brothers and sisters on the path. Essentially, all loving-kindness is the same loving-kindness manifesting from the level of our Buddha nature. So we try and abide in that. Then we think of any other being, for example, a respected friend or relative or someone in need of our support. Imagining this person, we take a moment to recognize their wish to be happy and the fact that they have their own vision of happiness. And then we generate, or manifest, the aspiration for their happiness. Using the same phrase we used for ourselves, for example, may you be well and happy in body and mind. Finally, we extend the circle of our loving-kindness to encompass all beings, since they all want to be happy and free of suffering. Wishing them profound well-being that is free from any suffering and all the delusions, we use the same phrase we used for ourselves. For example, may all be well and happy in body and mind. The loving-kindness that we have been generating is actually a natural effulgence of our own Buddha nature. And it now manifests above the crown of our head in the beautiful youthful form of Tara. Brilliantly white in color, 
She is sitting in the full lotus posture. She has seven eyes, three on her face and one on each palm and foot. And with these eyes she sees all the sentient beings who are like her children. Brilliant white light emerges as a stream, filling you and all the sentient beings. It purifies all the negativities, delusions and obscurations and awakens all the positive qualities, including wisdom, compassion and power. Mentally take refuge in Tara, who embodies the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha and your own Buddha nature. And then recite Tara's mantra as a way of taking refuge in your own Buddha nature that is manifest in her. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha 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 We feel our negativities have been completely purified and all our positive qualities fully awakened. Tara continues to abide on our crown to protect, guide, and help us throughout the day. And with this, we dedicate all the merit to be able to attain and manifest awakening for the benefit of all sentient beings. <laughs> 